Hello, I'm Li Jing. In the last audio and bite video on verification, I provide an overview of the Fair Plus verification framework. Today, I'll introduce its first component, the verification process. By the end of this video, you will learn the process of verification activity, its main phases and tasks in each phase. We have seen this graphical overview of the verification framework in the last audio and bite. We saw that the framework involves three main components. Today, we are going to learn the first component, the verification process, which outlines the main phases of a generalized verification activity. The verification process comprises four key phases in phase one, Realistic and practical goals are established. Phase 2 involves a thorough examination of data, capacity, and resource requirement. Entering Phase 3, the process initiates an iterative cycle involving assessment, design, and implementation to achieve the goals. Finally, Phase 4 involves a comprehensive review against initially set goals. Let's start with Phase 1. This phase involves identifying design outcomes and setting goals for the verification of data or project. These goals may focus on specific aspects of FAIR, such as depositing data in a suitable public resource to enhance its fundability with tasks like depositing to Xenotal. Alternatively, goals may span multiple FAIR aspects, for example, including using consistent terminologies and controlled vocabularies for data representation, that is interoperability, and depositing data in relevant repositories, that is findability. Clear cl verification goals can be articulated using tools like the Dataset Maturity Model, DSM, which assist in goal identification for more details on the tool, refer to the FAIR cookbook DSM recipe and the video description will include relevant links. What makes a good verification goal? Effective verification goals exhibit the following characteristics. Actionability. Goals should be translatable into concrete tasks. Vague goals may be challenged to implement as the steps involved are unclear. Defined scope. A good goal has a clearly defined scope or endpoint. Without this, where can an open-ended goal may continue indefinitely with diminishing benefits. Scientific value. Verification involved a cost. So a good goal explicitly states how the work will increase the data's scientific value. Investing substantial effort in verifying a single-use internal data set not intended for sharing or reuse may not be a prudent use of resources. Cost-benefit considerations are crucial in this phase. Typically, the data of project owner lead this phase. In phase two, the technical team carefully assesses data, capability, and resource requirements. Once the goal is identified, the team begins by collecting the necessary data for verification. Subsequently, they identify tools and expertise required for implementation, cataloging these resources. The team collectively selects individuals for the verification task. By the end of this phase, an action team is formed, along with a catalogue of tools and resources. The action team, known as SCORED, is a subset of the technical team focused on verification tasks. In a project comprising members from different work packages, with different perspectives and different skills, it follows Agile and Spotify scored methodologies. Following the selection of the action team, an iterative cycle of assessment 
design and implementation is put in place. For the first cycle, three main tasks are involved. Assessment. Prior to starting the work, the assessment of goals is done to ensure that individuals in the action team are updated and clear with the goals formulated by the data owners. This assessment is carried out by a review team, which could be an independent team or certain individuals from the technical team who are not involved in the action team. The assessment involves a binary decision of goal or no goal based on the verification goals and the catalog provided. At this stage, the review team can also provide suggestions based on their experiences on the resources, tool or goals. Design. Once the team receives a goal action from the review team, the action team now start by enlisting the steps needed to be done to achieve the goals. For each task, the resources, the estimated time duration, as well as the responsible person is selected. Implementation. Once the tasks have been selected and assigned, the actual work begins. To ensure that the action team is working smoothly, weekly or bi-weekly meeting is recommended so that the team is aware of the progress. After completing the tasks listed in the design phase, the action team access the work done and ensure alignment with the verification goal. If additional tasks are required to achieve the goal, a second round of access, design, implement cycle occurs, starting with the verification goals, completed tasks and proposed tasks. This phase is usually run in short sprint of three months. Phase four is to review against the goals. At this phase, the verification work has been completed by the team. The technical team and the data owners then come together to access the output of verification. The technical team packages all the work done and transfers it to the data owners. Decisions regarding key learnings and future aspects of the work are made at this point. Finally, to ensure sustainability, workflows and step-related information are deposited in online catalogues and recipe books such as the cookbook, RDM kit, and IMI data catalog, to name a few. Up to this point, we've covered the four phases of the verification process. Among these phases, the verification cycle phase involves the majority of the work and the verification framework offers tools and templates for this phase. We will explore these tools and templates in the next RDM Bytes. Thanks for watching. Please see links used as well as links to additional resources alongside this video.